Reminder that winter is on the way, as Lauren Maxwell tells us. It's also a time when the challenges for people experiencing homelessness are likely to grow. Well, the question really is, are we prepared? Now, we recently had a chance to sit down with a special assistant to the mayor on homelessness to learn more about what the city is planning to keep people safe. For the past three months, a small triangle of land off Latouche and Northern Lights has been home for this man. They don't have room. In, in the shelters. He says he's tried to stay in places like the Brother Francis shelter without much luck. Basically, if you don't go at six, like six o'clock in the morning and wait for like two hours in the cold, you won't get, be able to get a bed. Right now, the city doesn't have enough beds. Its year-round shelter in Midtown is full. But Thea Agnew Bemben, a special assistant to the mayor, says they're close to closing on a deal that would provide 400 hotel beds for the winter to be available, hopefully, by the end of October. The municipality has a responsibility to bring on some additional shelter during the, the coldest part of the winter. And that's, of course, a necessity because our top priority is to have safe trails, safe spaces, and safety for people who are unsheltered. The mayor's proposed city budget includes $2 million to move people from homelessness into housing. Ben Ben says part of the funding will go for what's called a rapid rehousing program. That's where we kind of help people move straight into housing with some supports, both financial and otherwise, that tapers down over a 12-month period. Under the plan, camp abatement will continue. Ben Ben says she's sensitive to communities who are frustrated with homeless camps, like this one. It's directly behind the AMVETS Post 2, off Old Seward. The manager says the camp was cleaned out last winter, but now it's back. Right when summer started again, it just kind of picked up, but larger than it was before. So it's, it's been a nightmare. The goal is to make sure people have a place to go, including this man. And you think you'll be here all winter? No, I'll probably pack in probably about November. He says he'd rather be warm inside. Now, Benben says the municipality is working on a plan for next spring that could include a legal place for people to camp in their vehicles. And it's also exploring the idea of small modular shelters or tiny houses that could be used as transitional housing.